It's Friday, you feel me? And I'm too fried today. But you know what? I got a good ass reason. Cause you wanna know why? We hit 200 subs on the motherfucking channel. And I appreciate y'all so much. And I appreciate y'all feedback. And I appreciate y'all comments. I appreciate y'all love, y'all support, all that. We gonna be up, we gonna be up, I promise y'all. Like a year from now, a year from now, I promise you, we gonna, year from now, we gonna be at like 50K, over 50K or something. We gonna, we, shit, we damn sure gonna be over fucking a thousand for sure on some real shit. But this ain't about me though. Anyways, I just wanna thank y'all and I love y'all guys for tuning in every time I drop, bro. I told y'all, bro, I'm the most consistent YouTuber on this platform. Even though I'm not going to lie, I ain't been keeping it recently. I, I, I've been slipping for two days. I ain't dropped for two days. I ain't dropped no shorts. I ain't dropped no YouTube video. I ain't dropped nada, nada. Dang. You feel me? But anyways, y'all, I'm back. Back with a video. Another motherfucker got exposed, bro. And this is crazy, bro. Because why? I mean, I guess because, like, I guess I'm starting like a chain or whatever in my like, in my what's what's that joint called my for you page or whatever because I keep seeing except celebrities getting exposed and it's more people getting exposed on the line. But the thing is, bro, this man's is dead, bro. He ain't even heard, bro. Stephen Hawkins, Stephen Hawkins, bro. Y'all know the wheelchair science dude, the smart ass boy. He came and talked. He got. Do that in the wheelchair, you feel me? Type his little words up. He can't even talk, but he's smart as hell, bro. Like he, he came up with like, like did did he come up with science theories or something like that? Or I'm thinking of the wrong person. He did something big. I don't know. I ain't pay attention to school, but I dare hear, hear about him in school. But honestly, shoot, I ain't buy yet, y'all. Head off. We we about to get into it because I'm trying to see what he did, y'all. Oh, wait, where the fuck is JoJo? I don't know if I said that. We in my mama basement with it. We on the PC with it. We about to be on YouTube with it. All right, y'all. We back and we got the video. I forgot to shout out who I got this video from. Well, like I said, I found it on my For You page. But, like, the person who made this video. But, as always, I'm going to put the link in the description to the original video. Because we got to see what Stephen Hawkins did, bro. What, what's, what, bro, well, why you got to expose my mans, bro? He can't even talk. He can't even walk, bro. Nah, y'all drawing. I mean, shoot, he could have did some crazy ish nowadays. Like I said, 2024, I don't know what was been going on in the air. Stuff has been coming up in the light recently with these celebrities and bigger names in Hollywood and just bigger names in general, bro. Something mean right, bro. Like, we got to start like a, a theory club or something about it. Like, ain't no way. There's no way, like, people can't be having allegations. Maybe he got exposed for something else, like tax fraudery or something like that. I don't know. But, like, this is exposing Stephen Hawkins. We're going to see what this joint about. The reality is that in 2006, Hawking attended a science conference funded by Epstein. Hawking engaged in inappropriate oh, acts shit. with multiple women who were not of age. It's different blind items reference the, that when he... What the fuck? I'm sick of it. Bro. Y'all be having too much money. Y'all get money and don't know how to behave. Bro got a wheelchair, got a bag, don't know how to act, bro. He can't even talk. I don't got a good film about this video. I'm not even going to lie, Island, bro. There was always a young blonde who would be, like, taking care of him. He would be in the back. But I thought back he had, like, a wife, though, if I'm not mistaken. Grinding on him as he laid on the bed. You have no idea how creepy. Did he have a wife? Or was he alone? Was he just pimping? Was he just pimping? Was that what he... I don't know. We're going to find this out. This man is. I'm going to pause this joint all crazy. Stephen Hawking may have been a genius, but he was also a creep, a womanizer, and a cheater. He was someone who belittled others. All right, bro. I said, I, I'm not going to keep pausing it. We only 38 seconds into this. This is getting bad. He He's getting into it. I could, I'm trying to figure out what he trying to say. It. Like, you feel me? But 
Let's go back, bro. Bro said cheater. Did he say cheater? Stephen Hawking may have been a genius, but he was also a creep, a womanizer, and a cheater. <laughs> what? Bro, you got cheated on by him? I, I'm not even, I, Lord, don't, 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 don't send me to hell. I'm sorry, Lord. But if you got cheated on by him, by him, by him, hold up, hold up, hold up. You got to get your life straight. It's, it's, you you got to be the prime or something. I mean, in this case, he the prime. But I don't know, bro. How the fuck can you let him cheat on you? I, I ain't trying to wish no downfall on nobody like, but I hope like the shorties was playing him too. Like they probably was with him for the money or whatever, and then he was with dumb for the year. You feel me, bro? How creepy this man this is! is. Weird. I'm tired of this, bro. Stephen Hawking may have been a genius, but he was also a creep, a womanizer, and a cheater. He was someone who belittled others and found peace in living an egotistical life. Accusations against him are quickly removed from the internet, and for whatever reason, everyone keeps trying to protect Stephen Hawking. So let's get into it. Do you have a Prada necklace? If you aren't subscribed to the Let's Get Into It podcast, then you're only getting half the tea. For longer videos, half deep dives, tea. and of course, more of me, subscribe to the Let's Get Into It podcast listed in the description below. We're taking a deep dive into Stephen Hawking and how he That's was a product. terrible guy. I mean, he was listed on Epstein's list. Product. So he got down with the bad guys and he's been accused of some really inappropriate things. Like, oh my God, in a 2015 email sent to Epstein's then accomplice, Ghislaine Maxwell, revealed that the physicist might have participated in an orgy. And the internet blew up because imagine Stephen Hawking. Like, and I'm not even going to lie. I definitely did see these memes like come up when the Steven like I mean not the Steven the Epstein Island shit like was talked about like a few months back. But I never paid attention to this Stephen Hawking shit, bro. Like come on, bro. Like I just thought niggas was trolling. They just added him just to be funny. Like, bro, it, this it shit real, bro. In all this. That's crazy. I don't want to imagine it. Now, Stephen died in 2018 at the age of 76. Yeah, and he's saying, one yeah, of he about died. 150 he names included on Jeffrey Epstein's list. And while being on the list doesn't necessarily mean that you are accused of wrongdoing, we have some creepy stories about Stephen. Newly released documents show Jeffrey Epstein emailed Ghislaine Maxwell to deny claims that Professor Stephen Hawking participated in underage sexual acts. Hawking, the celebrated wheelchair-bound physicist who died in March 2018, age 76, was among the guests at a barbecue during a conference on the island sponsored by Epstein. Now, this is what Jeffrey sent to Glain, saying, you can issue a reward to any of Virginia's friends, acquaintances, family that come forward and help her prove allegations are false. Starting today, anyone can monetize as. ads as part of the all new Beehive ad network. The strongest is the Clinton dinner, the new version and new version in the Virgin Islands that Stephen Hawking's practice in an underage orgy. So he was trying to protect these men and do it at any cost. Photos actually show Stephen Hawking visiting the Epstein Island in 2006 for a very bizarre conference. The conference took uh, place the on fun? the island and there were a bunch of conference about what though? See, that's the thing. Like when y'all be getting money, and y'all be getting higher power, like I promise you, money is key. The high, look up the stats, I promise you. The high, the more money you be having, bro, the more up in the rankings you gonna have, the more power you can have, bro. Like conference about what, bro? You a smart ass dude, bro. Men's probably had a conference about. I don't. I don't even know. I really don't know people there Sick, a lot of people that are local to this island like other islands that are nearby actually called it 
P word island, you know, child offender. When Epstein was asked about this conference, he said there's no agenda except fun and physics. That's fun with a capital F. Now, why does it have to start with a capital F? But in general, there really was no agenda for this conference because there was no conference like purpose besides bringing these physics out, showing them a good time, exploring, I guess, how far Jeffrey could push them, and that included Stephen Hawking, who he was very entertained by. There's photo evidence in 2006 of Stephen Hawking on Epstein Island. We have one here of him having dinner, and this one of him and a submarine, which we'll get to later because there's something interesting about this photo. Now, granted, he was here months before Jeffrey Epstein was convicted for the first time of being a sex offender in Florida. You see that he was here yeah. on the island for a science conference that Epstein was hosting, and they were discussing get this the gravity on the island why would they what need the to check the gravity it doesn't make sense because there is no sense to it and it's pretty interesting to see the gravity of the island bro they, they just say anything yeah, the, bro. this submarine that was say i guess questioned to have like trafficked people at some point was something that Steven got into and he had this mysterious blonde girl with him the entire night in every photo. So why is she being strung along? Another weird thing I found online that I, mean, I don't even know if this is real, but supposedly Jeffrey was asked about Stephen Hawking's like, you know, his kinks and supposedly he was into Hold on, let me read this shit. Hold on one sec, wait. Are you telling me that Stephen Hawking's frequently Freak, frequented the island for pleasure. Yes, Jeffrey loved to have an an intellectual. I, my bad. I can. I'm gonna let y'all read it. I'm gonna read it in my head. I'm sorry. Uh, that's some watching crazy shit. little people undressed solve complex equations on a too high up chalkboard. This can't be real. There's a lot of conspiracies about this guy, but there are some things that are true. Despite being diagnosed with ALS at the age of 21, wheelchair bound and unable to speak, he still had a very active love life, which I think is great. I love normalizing like people who are different, like finding love. Like that love on the spectrum show on Netflix is my addiction. I am so in love with Connor on there. If you know, you know. But Stephen first married his uh, wife, yeah. Jane, in the 60s. Stephen's condition oh, meant that Stephen always had to be completely passive in intimacy because he is fragile. Over time, his fragility caused Jane that she might actually harm him if they were to get intimate. But Stephen ended up falling for his nurse, Elaine, a fiery redhead who liked to skateboard and definitely knew how to flirt. Maybe one of the reasons they bonded, one says, is because she had the flamboyance he would have exhibited if he had the use of his body. For her part, Elaine wasn't put off by Stephen's physical condition, just the opposite. She was drawn to it. So Elaine and Steven got married. No weird, sh no, no weird shit though. When you like that, like when you paralyzed like that, can you get it up? Can it get up there? My, I don't know. That's crazy. Can he get? A I don't know if he can get active. I don't know. I don't know. I have to do some homework. 1995, so he left his wife for this nurse, but they weren't together that long because in 2006, they divorced when he found love to another nurse 39 years younger than him. So he had his original wife, then left for a nurse, then left for another nurse. What is up with these nurses? They were reportedly engaged at some point, but Stephen called it off because he thought it would cause more problems with his children. He cheated, allegedly, on his first wife with his... Hey, hey. Let me tell y'all something, though. Let me tell y'all something. Just to know if you single, there's hope. Look at this. It, it, there's hope. If a girl could go for a guy that can't even move, can't even talk, none of that, there's hope. Keep your head up high, king. Keep your head up high, queen. You're going you gonna to find your soulmate. Find nurse somebody. Elaine. So he gets married to Elaine and she loves him. She loves everything about him. Does Anything's not care possible. if he's handicapped. She loves his mind. But then Elaine said that they divorced in 2006 because he fell for another nurse. And it said that she suffered from manic depression, which is something that Hawking seemed to like. 
Now, Jane, his first wife, did release a tell-all book, and she spilled a lot on Mr. Stephen Hawking. She recounted her miserable marriage to the, quote, master of the universe. She probably didn't name him for legal reasons. She explains her determination to stay married to him even as his disease and his ego began to consume him in equal measure. She details how he, for many years, wanted no one but her to wash, clothe, and feed him. He was so reluctant to use a wheelchair that she had been balancing him on with one arm and then holding a toddler with another. Her role became more maternal than marital. Oh my gosh, she wrote something, um, I don't even think I could say this. And it was becoming very difficult, unnatural, even to desire for someone with a body of something very insensitive victim and the undeniable needs of an infant. So she was not cut out to be with someone who has special needs. She said in society she felt like a second-class citizen, often forced into the wife's corner while the male geniuses talk shop. She claims this made her really depressed and she did not feel fulfilled by their life oh, at she, all. She been she, with him since before, before that shit? This nigga up. He up. He not in no chair. Unless this is AI actually even Sick. felt trapped. She felt like yeah. she couldn't go off and leave Stephen because she's the only one who could take care of him, but she needed to take care of herself. Now, Stephen was notorious for cheating on his wives, all of them. And actually, some of them fought back, which I do not agree with because he is someone who needs help and cannot defend himself. Like, the time in 2003 when one of the nurses called his daughter Lucy to report that he had been badly burned after being left outside in the scorching sun all day. Police opened Damn. an investigation interviewing 10 That's that's of wild. his current and former nurses, but due to lack of evidence, they couldn't fix. <laughs> That's foul. Are you cheated on me? All right, bitch. Lock the door. Leave him. Put him down the stairs. <laughs> That's foul. Figure out who it was. That's and foul. a lot of people suggested it was his wife, That's but foul. he just would not accept that. <laughs> I mean, probably was. He probably knew that, but he would not throw his wife under the bus. And this would have been his second wife, that nurse that he had married and left Jane for. He said, my wife and I love each other very much, and it's only because of her that I am alive today. After he was taken to the hospital for being in the sun all day, Elaine showed up and she was biting him, throwing things around the room. She was actually asked to leave, and people came to the understanding that he him. was cheating on her, and that's why this all happened. Run Windows on Mac and open a world with no limits. From work. And that's why she left him in the sun to cook. He only just learned about the Stephen Hawking cheating on his wives scandal. And I'm genuinely speechless. This man may have been bound to a wheelchair, unable to speak or move, but bro's love life was active. He married Bro. his first wife, Jane, in 1965, <laughs> when they were both in their early 20s. They then remained married for 25 years while Jane fed him, dressed him, bathed him, and sat with him through his many hospital visits and near-death experiences. That was until he fell for his carer, Elaine, who was also married at the time. Stephen then divorced Jane and remarried Elaine in 1995. He remained married to Elaine until, yet again, he fell for another one of his carers. This time, his new carer, Diana, was 39 years younger than him. His marriage with Elaine ended in 2006, and while he did get engaged to Diana, he worried another marriage would cause problems with his three children, so he ended up backing out. He also was a big fan of strip clubs. Quote, he's a man who lives within his brain and still manages to feel the overwhelming power of sex. Stephen became a regular at Stringfellow's Strip Club in London. People would just what? run into Stephen Hawking there. Quote, I went and introduced myself and said, Mr. Hawking, it's an honor to meet you. If you could spare a minute or two, I'd love to chat with you about the universe. Then I paused for a bit and joked, or would you rather go look at the girls? There was a silence for a moment, and then he answered, the girls. And he's like, yeah, he used to go to strip clubs, and there's like videos of him like rolling into a strip club in the wheelchair. Like he would go, that was his thing. Yeah, he cheated on his wife all the time. If you Google Stephen Hawking, <laughs> ain't no was, fucking like, way. He was bro. always fucking around. Stephen has been spotted at these clubs, and he's also been reportedly spotted receiving multiple lap dances. He's a frequent at a Californian strip club called Devour, and another one called Freedom Acres. A member of the club says, I've seen Stephen Hawking at the club more than a handful of times. He arrives with an entourage of nurses and assistants. <gasps> Last time I saw him, he was in the back play area, lying on a bed fully clothed with two naked women all over him. Wow. They say he goes to strip clubs. That's wild. Yeah. 
Laptop dance. <laughs> bro, this shit's not real, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? This is what they don't teach you in school about Stephen Hawkins. I know you heard about him in school. This is what they don't teach you. Bro was getting active. Like I said, anything's possible. Now for me. Now work it, girl. Take me to the event horizon. Now you guys know hey, the Me Too RP movement Robin has brought Williams. forward a lot of survivors, <laughs> but it's also brought up some fake news. And while Steven can easily pay someone to say their story is fake and to issue an apology, I've had people threaten me before to issue an apology. One person named Gabrielle, who was 22 in 1994, claims that there's an old memory that haunts her because Stephen Hawking is so intimidating and he held such a high status in academia that she claims that she was harmed by this man. And later on, there was an apology posted on a website, I think, forced by Steven's team claiming that this story was completely fake. Now I don't have the story like to share it with you guys. I just have this odd article that mentions it and then mentions that it was gone. Now I don't know if Stephen Hawking was out here and like harassing people. Like was he typing it and just the machine was saying it? But there are people who have been in Hollywood and shared their stories about Stephen Hawking. And this actress actually claims that he was on set watching them perform. And his only reaction was to ask her for a little favor. Yeah. But, and then he's been uh, talked about, uh, you know, meeting Stephen Hawking and sort of hanging out. He, um, Stephen came to set and we were, we were very, very nervous. Um, and then afterwards, and they, and they shouted, cut. She looked familiar. He wrote down. I thought I was seen her in a movie. Waiting, and he said, would Felicity please be able to come and give me a kiss? Actually, his mother claims that Stephen liked pretty girls, only the pretty one. He had a creepy obsession with Marilyn Monroe, who he referenced in his public speeches. He's on the record saying if he had a time machine, he'd go back to visit Marilyn in her prime. For his 60th birthday, he hired a Marilyn Monroe impersonator dressed up and uh, was all over him the entire night. He also kept a portrait of Marilyn in his bathroom, which is pretty weird. When asked about these moments, his team responded that they're very busy and they don't have time to respond to any of this nonsense, none of this gossip. But the gossip keeps on coming and people just call him a straight up jerk, saying that he mocks anyone who disagrees with him and he will call a child an idiot because he is so egotistical. He actually called that child an idiot because they believed in God after a near-death experience. He used to run people over with his wheelchair if he did not like them. The f That's legitimately a crime. Why do people think that's funny? Like, why is there a report that Stephen Hawking was rumored to run over the toes of people he did not like with his wheelchair? A rumor has it he had a mischievous way of getting back at people he did not like by running them over. Actually, Prince Charles got his feet crushed beneath his wheels in 1977. The prince was intrigued by Stephen Hawking's wheelchair and Stephen started twirling it around to demonstrate its capabilities and carelessly ran over the prince's toes. When asked about That's this, crazy. Stephen says that it's a malicious rumor. <laughs> he completely denies it and he will run over anyone who... If you don't take this nigga chair, bro. Take his chair, bro. Fuck out of here, bro. I'll be damned. And if you do it on purpose, bro, nah. He think he's slick just because you think you disabled. You think that's okay? Nah, but bro, I'll push you down some stairs, bro. Who repeats it? So he definitely had a joking <laughs> side to him, and that's why people Take liked him. But there's also something really weird about it all. So I want to hear what you guys think of Stephen Hawking's in the comments below, and I'll see you in a new video soon. Bye, guys. Shit. Video by Sloan. Video by Sloan. That was a video by Sloan. 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 You feel me? I ain't gonna lie, I'm flabbergasted, flabbergasted by that news, but it's okay though, it's okay though, I mean, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, I'm not, I don't, I don't, I don't disobey none of that, but like, he ain't heard of me, so you ain't nothing you can do about it, but, it's just crazy to see, like, what's coming to light from these big names and like, it's really crazy. I don't know. I re bro, it's really getting too deep. Like I'm really starting to like conspiracize something, bro. For real, I'm really like, ah, uh, nah. I gotta do some homework. I'm not gonna lie. But I also 
gotta record a couple more videos, I'm not gonna lie. I actually seen a couple videos in my free videos that I should react to. So I'm just gonna bust them all out, you feel me? So when I drop them, and you see that I still wear this, and I'm in this same attire for a couple videos straight, that's why, like, I gotta feel what I'm about to bust out. Pause, no diddy, no diddy. But anyways, y'all, that's it. That's the end of the video. That's, I don't got nothing else to say. But, yeah, y'all stay safe, y'all stay blessed, y'all stay woke. Roll the 300 subby subs.